Um, thank you, Peter. Um, so as Peter's touched on, COVID has been uh, very challenging to both fundraising and, and program operations. Um, but despite everything, we've been able to work quite effectively throughout this period of, of instability. Um, and this is because of a very strong relationship that we are privileged to have with our partner organisation, Himalayan Trust and Paul. HDN has been consistent, responsive, transparent, um, as we've dealt with the challenges of the past year and, and beyond. Um, and this must be in part attributed to the consistency and vision of Chairman Hwasang Dawa's leadership. Um, so I'm really happy to welcome Hwasang Dawa to address him now. Thank you, Oliver. Chairman, Mr. Hillary, Vice Chairman, Dr. McGill, Board Members, General Members, General Manager, Alexander Hillary, Staff Members, Ladies and Gentlemen, Kiro Ora, Namaste. It is indeed a great honor for me and my team to be here in your AGM today. Thank you very much for your kind invitation and warm hospitality. I'm really pleased to be here today and meet you all after many years. We are all support from COVID-19 pandemic daily and just trying to recover from the economic and social losses. I want the help of him and the Nepalese people who would like to thank the Human Trust in New Zealand and New Zealand Aid Program MPEG for your continued support. We all know that Human Trust in New Zealand and Human Trust in Nepal both had organizational uh, and management problems a couple of years ago. Since I have taken the chairman's position, I have a new chief education officer from a new board member. And there has been major shift in human rights across Nepal. Likewise, under the strong and visionary, visionary leadership of Dr. Mike, human rights across New Zealand has been successful. To make the dramatic changes, it, it is really encouraging for all of us that Peter Hillary has taken the position of chairperson. George Hillary joined as a board member, and Alexander Hillary is a general man manager of trust. It is, in fact, an excellent decision. <coughs> A good model that son, grandson are taking the leadership role of grandfather. In Nepal, Sherpa community and Solokumbu people have a good feeling and gain a high hope that future of Himalayan Tashui will father. Over the period of the last five years, we have been able to unite two organizations that Human Trust New Zealand and Human Trust Nepal became one of the partner of Human Trust in Nepal. Both organizations share the credit and vision that has been left behind by Sir Edmund Hillary. By the blessing of Sir Edmund Hillary, both Human Trust New Zealand and Human Trust Nepal are expanding programs and capacity of both organizations are growing as a result. Visibility and credibility, both organizations have been escalating. Human Trust Nepal is coordinating celebration program of first successful nation of World Heritage Week, on Everest by Sergeant Man Hillary and Tenzin Sherpa in May 2023. I extended I, I, I extend my active invitation for your participation to celebrate the 70th anniversary of a successful SN. 
I hope to see you all in Nepal in 2023. Last but not least, I want to thank you, Human Interest New Zealand. Now, New Zealand Aid Program impacts in people of New Zealand for your generous support to the people of Nepal. Now, CEO Dr. Mimundarbu, Sherpa and Program Manager, Thakwa Dejishabu will present the details of annual progress report. Thank you and wish a successful AGM of the New Zealand. Namaste.